Hey y'all, look, we getting right into it in this video because I didn't record an intro and also I figured we should just go ahead and get into it. Right now, I'm parting my hair. You may see some white flakes on my hair, not on my scalp. And that is from the heat protectant that I used, the cream heat protectant. Um, I do have a video that I will link down below on how I flat on my hair, but I just put a lot of product in my hair and when I blow dried it, I got those white flakes, but they come right out. This is me parting my hair. I used a second mirror. Y'all, I'm not a master at parting, so please don't judge my parts, y'all, okay? I don't normally part my hair, okay? This is me taking that first row and sectioning it off where I'm going to put each twist. And I'm just putting a clip there just so I can keep those pieces sectioned. Pulling the rest of my hair up out of my face and let's get into it. I'm using the Shining Gem to glue, <laughs> glue down my roots. Well, to make my roots blend with the hair i'm using the shining gem I'm not putting that all on my roots you know getting them nice and slick you feel me sorry y'all i'm silly i just woke up yeah <laughs> Now I'm taking a little edges brush and I'm brushing my roots of my hair to make sure that it's nice and sleek and slick before I put that rubber band on. So here's the thing with the rubber band method. I put my rubber bands on too tight y'all. So I did not leave this style in my hair for a long time at all. Um, so I recommend if you're gonna do the rubber band method, do not, please do not put your rubber bands as tight as I did. I think next time I'm gonna do the braid crochet where I start off with a plait and then do it because those rubber bands hurt my head, y'all. And y'all gonna see these rubber bands look tight as heck. Um, it did get my roots real nice and sleek but I suggest not doing it as tight. I basically do the same thing with every section. Add the shining gem, brush the roots, and then add the rubber band. So I'm gonna let y'all see how I do what I do, and then I'll be back. As y'all can see, my first section is complete. Y'all see them roots? Y'all see them rubber band? They're a little tight, you know what I'm saying? Um, before I started on the second row, I went ahead and parted my hair down the middle because I knew I wanted a middle part and I wanted to section the back part a little better. I wanted to know exactly where my part was gonna be in the middle and the top of my head. So I went ahead and sectioned that first part so now I'm going to do the second section. As y'all see, I got each section pinned up with the butterfly clips. And I'm done with this section. And I'm going to go ahead and do this throughout my hair. Y'all was happy because my parting wasn't that bad. Like, yeah, it's, a, it's not clean and crispy. They're not clean and crispy, y'all. But this is my first time actually taking the time to really try to part my hair. So don't y'all judge okay <laughs> i feel like i did a good job for my first time but yeah so i've done the whole back of my head that little section y'all i don't know what happened to that part in, but i left it like that because i was like forget it i have 39 sections in my hair and i'm happy because it's time to twist i did the first twist off camera because i wanted to see something i wanted to see how it was gonna look but I didn't show y'all, but I'm putting on the curling cream. I'm using the African Pride curling cream. Then I'm following up with the shining gem so that the hair can blend with the weave when I twist. The shining gem is going to relax the hair. I'm taking a crochet needle. Y'all probably already know about the crochet needle. It got a hatch. You close the hatch. I mean, you 
put it in your hair open the hatch open and then once you get it on you take your pieces of hair i'm using two pieces of hair and i'm not separating the sections yet i'm going to twist the hair up where i'm going to slide it on the needle at as y'all see i'm gonna put it on the hook close the latch and then I'm gonna pull the hair through. And then I'm gonna take, well open the hatch, take the hair out <laughs> from the hatch. And then I'm gonna take and pull one side. I'm pulling one side completely through. So you should have two strands of hair on each side of that rubber band. Just like that, okay? two sections and now I'm going to separate the hair I waited to separate the hair after I got it through the hair through my actual hair where the rubber band was because I really wanted to make it easy to get that hair through because I know if I would have separated it beforehand it just would have been it would have took longer for me so I'm taking my natural hair and splitting it into two sections along with those two sections of weave and then I'm going to just tightly twist my hair down. I am twisting it very, very tight, especially where my natural hair is because I want the hair to blend with the weave. I want the hair to blend seamlessly where you can't tell that my natural hair is up under this hair, okay, this silky soft hair. So I'm doing it tight all the way down and then once I get past the point of where my natural hair is, I'm going to kind of loosen up. And then I take the ends with the curling cream and I just curl the ends. And there you go. Okay. There you go. I didn't give y'all a um, full breakdown on this hair. I got this hair from Amazon and it came with six packs of hair and it's 14 inches long. I will make sure to link down where I got this hair down below in the description box. So if y'all like it, y'all can pick it up. It wasn't bad hair. I just feel like it could have been thicker if that makes sense. Like, I feel like my twists weren't as thick as I wanted them to be. And yeah, I could have used three strands, but I didn't know how much hair I was gonna use, how many packs I was gonna use. By the way, I ended up using five packs. Um, and the only reason why I ended up using five packs is because I did a couple of them over in the front, so I ended up using five. But had I not used, I didn't even use five. I believe I used four and a half, I say. For my whole entire head um but as y'all can see i'm just twisting it up curling the ends um because the ends are colored i believe that's why they were a little dry so once i got to the ends i also added a little bit of curling cream to the ends to kind of give it a little bit of juiciness and to help that curl curl back as y'all can see and i'm done with this first row or section I'm going to do this all over the back portion of my hair and then I will be back.
Alright, so we done with the back section, and now I'm about to start on the front. I did the front the same way. I believe my parts in the front were bigger than the parts in the back, which is kind of opposite. Um, if I was going to do this hair over, I would probably do the ones in the middle, because my hair is more dense in the very back. It's more dense at the top of my head, and it gets less dense again in the front. Um, so my sections in the front were a little bigger than the ones in the back. I think also because I was just trying to get done. <laughs> but y'all get it. I do the same exact thing that I did to the back of my hair. To the front, make sure them baby hairs is at. I am taking a banana clip, uh, alligator clip, putting it at that root. Because when you get to the front and you start twisting, sometimes it will start to twist those roots. So if you put that banana clip there you won't have no problems i did want to add that i did clip some of the end off i probably didn't mention that earlier but i did clip those little straight hairs at the end of those curls on some of them i didn't have that problem with all of them but y'all get it i'm doing my whole head just the same twist came out this is the final result um i did forget one thing hold on eventually i forgot to apply oil to my scalp i'm gonna do that um y'all already know how to do that basically you're just gonna take it and put it on on your scalp because my scalp was really really dry after blow drying I'm not gonna go too overboard because I got enough going on in this head already. Massage that in. I'm probably not going to wear this hair down because it's a lot. And I just, I don't like a lot of hair in my face. I mean, y'all probably like, girl, why you got put to the style? But it's cute. I love it. I'm gonna stand up for y'all so y'all can see how long it is. It looks longer than 14 inches, but I'm short, so that could be why. Let's see in the back. I don't know if y'all can tell me how it's going to be short if I'm trying to show it more. But this is what it looks like in the back. I'm going to add some pictures of different styles for this hair because I got a couple in mind. I'm so excited, y'all. But yeah, this is it. This is it. It's so cute, y'all. It's blue. Like, I look like a thug. <laughs> Make sure you like this video if you liked it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I post lit popping content every single week. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to that subscribe button so that you are notified every single time I post a lit popping video. And with that being said, y'all, I'm out. Deuces.